there. I wanted to discuss the experience that perhaps some of you can empathize with of needing to sit down at your computer and do personal admin, whether that's sending emails or working on your website or working with clients, whatever it is, and not having the inspiration or not feeling good, having a lack of energy, having um, a dullness inside, not wanting to do those things. Um, and I forgot about my variety of tricks that you can use to uplift yourself and create um, a better feeling before you're about to do some personal admin work. So I wanted to get on here and share a few of those tips that work for me and you could try them out and see how they work for you. Number one is I clear off my desk if there's a bunch of letters and clutter, making sure it's clean and it's a place that I want to sit at. So I'll add beautiful things such as my plants. Um, if it's springtime, you can collect some flowers, placing them around your desk. Sometimes I'll light little candles. Um, you know, everyone has different things that makes them feel good, but that's what works for me. The next part is making sure I have something nourishing um, to put in my mouth, whether that's just water, tea, if you like coffee or fruit or a snack, um, just having that there so you don't have to get up um, and you have everything you need where you're at. Um, next is I tend to get distracted on the computer through, let's say I'm responding to someone uh, on social media, then I'll start to scroll on social media, I'll click to one thing, I'll go to the next thing, I'll, you know, I get scattered. So. What works for me is creating a checklist on my whiteboard, or you can use your computer or a piece of paper on the side. Um, and then it's so satisfying to be able to complete one task, check it off, and then move on to the next one. If you start to notice you get distracted, then just look back on your list and say, oh yeah, that was my plan. So creating that sense of a flow for yourself. Lastly, before I actually sit down and do the work, um, giving yourself uh, a little bit of time to center into your breath and into a place of centeredness. So I'll set a timer. You could do three minutes, five minutes, eight minutes or less. Um, sitting with a tall spine in your chair, you can sit on the ground as well closing your eyes and you can try this with me I'll, we'll just take a few breaths together but hopefully you'll get the point and uh, drawing your attention to your breath rising in and out of your nose and then beginning to draw attention to your shoulders slightly lifting towards your ears as you inhale and as you exhale letting them relax down towards the floor. And then I'll start to notice my heart space. So perhaps even trying to locate your heartbeat. And then lastly, envisioning the feeling I want to have as I'm working. So I want to feel inspired, joyful, interested, grateful, these kind of feelings. And I'll spend a little bit of time meditating upon those feelings. It usually doesn't take too long, so you can try that out. And then lastly, before I actually dive into the work, having some sort of very simple physical flow that you can do to begin to enter into a deeper flow state um, and also just move your body before you sit. Uh, I'll create a sequence in my mind and you can create whatever sequence works for you. I'll demonstrate mine. Um, I'll create a sequence and basically repeat it a few times. So let me turn this camera around and show you what I do. So I'll just plant my feet on the floor and bend my knees and then I'll inhale scoop my arms on up 
expanding in my chest. As I exhale, I'll shift onto one leg, bringing my pretend ball of energy to my chest. From here, I'll step out to the right, bending in that knee. And again, I'll push off, finding a balance. I'll step out again, rotating my knee outward into like a warrior two. And back and then switching sides. Obviously that was a simple movement and you can explore something that works for yourself. But again, it doesn't have to be too complicated, just something that gets you moving in multiple planes and allows you to expand in your breath. So then as you sit down and you're ready to work, your, uh, your blood is a little bit more flowing, your mind hopefully is centered and you can work from a place of enjoyment rather than of depletion. I hope that was helpful in some way. Give it a try. Let me know if you have techniques that uh, help you feel inspired and uplifted to work on your computer. All right. Until then, see you later.